The incoming payments function within SAP Business One is a powerful tool for handling payments from a customer, vendor, or account. There are four payment means that you can use in your incoming payment documents, which are cash, checks, credit cards, or bank transfers. Each one of these payment means can be used with the incoming payment function. When you create an incoming payment to partially or fully clear a document or transaction, an internal reconciliation takes place automatically within the system. To create an incoming payment document, navigate to Banking, Incoming Payments, and Incoming Payments. This will display the incoming payments window, which is already in ad mode. Let's look at an example of a customer that sent a partial payment for an open invoice. On the incoming payments window, make sure that the radio button next to customer is selected, since we are dealing with a customer who sent us the payment. If you are receiving a payment from a vendor or you want to credit a specific GL account, you can adjust the radio buttons accordingly. Now select the business partner who sent in the payment under the code field at the top. Notice how the customer information populates in the window, and a list of open transactions appears in the middle section of the window. The system offers you some useful tools and indicators to help you understand the nature of the documents displayed in order to aid you in making your selection. For instance, any invoices that are due or past due are going to have an asterisk in the invoice line. The cash discount column will display the rate of the cash discount as defined for the business partner and the rate that appears depends on the incoming payment date compared to the invoice document date and payment terms. Locate the appropriate invoice that we are receiving the partial payment for and select it by using the select checkbox. By default, the total payment column will show the total outstanding balance on the invoice. Since this is a partial payment, change this amount to the appropriate partial payment amount. Notice the total amount due field changed to the partial payment amount. Now click the payment means icon next to the total amount due field. This will display the payment means window. From here, you can select the payment means according to how the customer paid. For our example, the customer sent in a check to partially pay for the invoice. Under the amount column to the right is where you enter in the amount of the check that was received. Since we already defined this on the incoming payment window, use Ctrl and B on your keyboard to bring in the total amount due into this field. You can also indicate the check number in the check number field so that the check number will be reflected later on the deposit document. Now you can click OK to close the payment means window. The check number should also be added in the reference field, located near the top right of the incoming payments window. This will make it easier to search the incoming payment document by check number for future inquiries. To add the payment to the invoice, click the add button at the bottom of the window. Now the remaining balance will be open on the invoice and will be reflected on the invoice document. Let's say the customer paid the remainder of the invoice via a bank transfer at a later date. Enter the customer name in the code field, select the invoice, and click the payment means icon. This time select the bank transfer tab. The difference between the check and bank transfer payment means is that with the check option, a check was received from the customer and a temporary clearing account was debited so that checks can be debited in bulk to the appropriate GL account using the deposit document, whereas a bank transfer is posted directly to one of your accounts. Under the GL account field is where you enter the correct bank GL account that the bank transfer will be posted to. Now you can enter the date the bank transfer took place and a reference for the transfer to indicate the purpose of the bank transfer. You can use Ctrl and B on your keyboard in the amount field to bring over the total amount due again. Then proceed to click the OK button. With the bank transfer tied to the invoice, you can add the payment. If the customer wants to add a payment on account, you can enter it within the incoming payments window. Select the payment on account checkbox and enter in the amount they paid towards their account. Then proceed to click the payment means icon and enter in the method of payment. This time the customer paid us with cash. Go to the Cash tab in the Payment Means window and enter in the cash amount next to the total field. Notice that the Cash on Hand account is being used for the cash transaction. Once the method of payment has been entered, you can click OK. Now you can add the Payment on Account by clicking the Add button at the bottom of the window. Note that you can combine a Payment on Account with Payments Against Invoices in the same incoming payment transaction. 
The incoming payments functionality in SAP Business One is an effective tool for assigning the payments that your company receives to the designated documents and accounts. Join us as we help you learn more about what SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.